Welcome back again. Welcome back. Um, big mods today. Huge, massive mods. D wiper, wiper delete, whatever you want to call it. That's what that is. Um, it does come with some black silicon sealant as well. Um, but I've waited too long and that's gone off. It's great. Uh, I do have other black sealant, so it's not actually a problem. But it does come with it probably do it the day it arrives or within a day or two that won't go off and um, so yes yeah, so we need to take the rear wipe off the Civic take the motor out and then that goes in from the, like the inside the boot side and then we'll just put a little bit of sealant on there and I'm probably gonna like masking tape over that just to keep it in place uh, leave it for I'll leave it for a day or so just to make sure it's in but it's supposed to look like the standard glass We'll see if it does. It might look terrible. Um, and we'll also weigh the motor just to see how much BHP per ton we will gain. Uh, this was £8.39, I think, on eBay. Pretty sure it was £8.39. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to get that one. There might be cheaper ones, there might be more expensive ones, there might be better ones, I don't know. But um, that's the one I'm using. So I'll put the link in for that one. Let's go outside, start taking a car to bits again. It's fun though, isn't it? I mean, it's already gone wrong, so how much worse can it get? Yeah, so that's what we're getting rid of. Um, the tools, the screwdrivers, so first thing is pop that off. Get that little nut off, whatever size that is. Uh, ten. Never a 10, it is 12. the first bolt that's loosened on this under. Give it a quick spray. Hopefully that just slides off there. I don't know. Right, it looks like we've got these two little plastic clips here. Like that, and then um, if you can see in that, can you? Yeah, there's a screw in there. That's all I can see. The rest must just unclip. So I'll get these off and we'll get that out, and then we'll see what's behind there. Yeah, I've ended up taking them all off the trims. If you take this center one off first, they just pop off, and then this will just pop off. So it's like full and easy. Oops. Just like that. There's our wiper motor that we need. So we need to unplug it. And then unbolt it. Ah, no. There's a problem. The screen wash actually goes through the motor. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a random screw or bolt to go in there to stop it pissing water out if you accidentally flick it on. Didn't realise that. Probably got one there. It's a screw, I need that for the car. I'll have a random bolt somewhere, so that'll do that. Yeah, so I'll get that off. Might leak water everywhere. I didn't realise that had the screen wash attached in it. Quite clever. Oh, that's good. Out. It's the boot cable, I need that. Nothing else is attached to this that I need, so that's good. Right. Cool. So, unplug it. It's a difficult one, Andy. It's proper, proper stuck on that. It ain't coming off. Um, that's all. I ain't got anything to pull it off with, so what we're going to do go back to my trusty old friend should really get a new blade for that I'm just going to chop through there so that'll get rid of that um, if this doesn't work and I don't like the, the, the blank I can get another motor off eBay they're not that expensive anyway that's the only option I've got and um, I've also found a bolt that'll do the blocking off the wiper and um, the screen wash pipe so that'll do nicely for that yeah let's get hacksaw in
can turn on it off. So you're left with this nut here, which I think is a 22. I ain't got a 22. I have to buy one. Um, seven eighths knee bother. Right, so get that off. And then we'll go from the inside. So after that you're left with three 10 mils, I think it is. Looking at this, you've got one there, one there, one there. That should be everything off for that. Oh yeah, that's loose already. That wasn't even tight either. Neither's that. That's easy. Cool. That's everything off. We're going to weigh that to see how much that weighs. See how much faster the car's going to go. Not leaving it that old. Which, if this doesn't fit, then this is not going to be a good day. Looks like it should. It's not the best, is it? It's supposed to go on that way. I hope not. I don't know why the flush one, but I reckon that goes on that way. It doesn't fit otherwise. I thought it was going to be that way up. <laughs> she rattles around. So I've held it in my masking tape for now, just to see the gap. It's not actually that bad. Um, Obviously that black seal would have filled that gap. I don't have black seal typically. So I don't know what to do, whether I should wait and get some or what. It's got a mark on that. Anyway. Um, but otherwise, I think it would actually look alright. Look better. It's dead noticeable though, which is a shame. But I suppose they always were gonna be. So we've moved to the kitchen um, and now we're going to use the, the baking scales, which is zeroed and on grams, and see how many kilos this is all going to weigh. I reckon this has saved a load of weight. This is going to go much faster. So we'll add them up, pile them on top. Getting there, you know. The bolts. 940. Oh, 955. 972. Rubbish fell off. 982. And then the wiper arm on top. One point one kilo. So that's 1.1 kilos. So now I need to work out, after the cat sniffed it, what the power to eight difference is going to be from that. Because I reckon that's going to improve my 0 to 60, possibly by 0 0.0003 of a second. Every little helps. So let's go and work them, the maths out for that. Well, apart from the sealant going off, because um, I didn't use it quick enough, my own fault, um, I'm quite happy with that. I think it actually does look all right. It looks a lot better. Um, so now we have the results of the BHP per tonne calculation. So standard weight of the car, 1204 kilograms. This is according to the internet. I don't know. This is what I've, I've Googled several places and they all seem to say about 1204. So we'll go with 1204. My car's 236.6 horsepower. I can't put the 0.6 in, so I've used 236. So 1204 kilos, 236 horsepower is a BHP per tonne of 196.01. Remembering got just over a kilo removed from taking that wiper off so 236 kilo, uh, 
horsepower again and we've gone for 1203 kilo which is 196.18 horsepower per ton so that is a 0.17 of horsepower per ton gain by just removing your rear wiper now if you're going to tell me you cannot notice that it's not wrong with you because that's going to be that's going to fly the difference is going to be phenomenal that's like adding an extra yeah you're not going to notice that at all so um i don't know what else i'm going to remove from the car i may eventually take the rear seats out because i might put a roll cage in i haven't decided that bit yet but one kilo for removing your rear wiper make no difference but i actually think it does look better so i'm happy enough with that race car honest